as you saw, we, we chose uh, Trent Richardson. Um, unfortunately, we had to uh, make a little trade to secure the pick. Um, when we went through this process, uh, we, we knew as we went through the process that he was our guy. And so we did what we had to do to secure it. We had pretty good uh, knowledge that there were teams behind us that wanted him as well. And so uh, we gave up a couple of picks to make sure that we got him. And I think uh, that was, uh, that's, again, a credit to Tom Heckert and his guys for doing the intel on that. And we're thrilled. I mean, we'll talk a bunch about Trent, but um, he's one of those guys. He's passionate. He's productive. He's durable. And he's the kind of runner that we feel is going to help us put an offense together to score the points that we need to win the games that we're going to win. And so uh, we feel good about him. We feel if you don't sense the excitement in my voice, then you're missing it. I just think he's, uh, he's a terrific player. And he's going to be a, what we think to be a, uh, a really, really fine addition to the Cleveland Browns team. And I think he's going to be one of those players that our fans and our community will be able to watch run the ball for a lot of years. And so that's what we're excited about. Take a couple of questions, and I'm going to have to go. Is this pro day for you? No, I, I, I had evaluated him. Uh, I worked for Nick Saban for three years, so I knew the program that, that he played in. Um, it was easy to see. Prior to going to pro day, there were hours and hours of work done. It was just a way for me to confirm in my mind uh, that, that he was, he was going to be our guy, and I think Tom felt the same way. Well, I think an uh, uh, excellent running game and a terrific runner helps any quarterback. And so I think that's, uh, that's what you want to be able to do is put guys out there that can produce at all positions. And we feel like uh, Trent can come in here and do that for us. When he called uh, Richardson uh, maybe the best player in the draft, said he, he can't, uh, can't really find any weaknesses. Uh, what, uh, Bill's what, are top, yeah, what are his top strengths, uh, Pat? Well, he's a terrific runner. He can run with power. Uh, he can make you miss. When he gets in the open, he can score. I like the fact that when he's asked to pass protect, he'll do it aggressively. And then I think when you throw him the football, he catches it. So um, unless I'm missing something there, that's what runners got to do. How about uh, dependability? You, you didn't have that at all at that position. How important was it for you to get dependability? I think uh, dependability in a player is uh, it's very important. The other guys on the team, the coaches, uh, our fans, um, the people that root for us, they need to know that our players are going to show up. And I've seen this in this player. Uh, we've seen this, and, and we feel like that's what we're getting. There's constant conversation going on, so we knew uh, just a little while ago. But we, we, we figured that there might have uh, been something that we would have had to do to secure the pick. Two more questions, guys. Gary Brown, ready for some more bruises? Yeah, he did knock Gary out. You know, for those of you that didn't see it, I'm sure that YouTube clip went viral. So to see, I'm learning. I didn't know much about technology. But uh, it's funny, when we were flying down to a workout, Trent, I told, I told Gary, I said, listen, no matter what you do, don't hold the bag. You know, I learned that Andy Reid told me that when I was coaching tight ends, never hold the bag. And sure as heck, he holds the bag in the first, I mean, the first drill, he just got jacked. And so it was a little inside joke, but um, it, yeah, I mean, it's good that he can beat up his coach, I guess. Did you, say, did you say at which point Richardson became the player over anyone else like Claiborne or anyone? It's hard to say exactly when that was the case, but when you put the draft together, you decide when you go into it what your needs are, and then you decide uh, how you like the players, and then you try to find a way to uh, fill those needs. So we had a need at running back. Um, we had the pick, and we took the best player available at that position. And so I think that's a really, really fine job by Tom and his crew. Great, thanks. Last one, Todd. Never having played it down in the NFL. In your mind's eye, how much better does he make your offense right now? Well, I think you, every player you bring from college, you've got to project some. But I saw him play running back, a physical style, 
in an outstanding conference, the SEC, and they won a lot of games. And he helped that team win national championships. So in my mind, uh, you saw about what you needed to see to project the fact that he's going to be an outstanding player in this league.